my name is Kat and this is my October wrap up. So I had a very interesting reading month. I finished three or six books depending on how you count it. But the month isn't over yet. I'm filming this video with like a week of October left, but I'm moving that week, so I'm not going to be able to film, but I might be able to read, so I might get through some more. Particularly, I would like to finish Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs and Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, book one, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. That is a mouthful. I started both of these books, but then my reading month kind of went off the rails in like the most glorious way, but more on that in a moment. And more on these in my TBR for next one. For now, let's just get to the books I completed. First up, I want to talk about Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This month we're working with Macmillan for the Booksplosion book of the month. This is the first book in a duology that takes place in the same world as the Grisha trilogy. However, you do not need to read the Grisha trilogy first before reading this one. It takes place in a different part of the world with with a whole new cast of characters, and aside from a few mentions of events and characters, there's really not a lot of crossover, and there's nothing too spoilery. In this book, we follow a teenage boy named Kaz who is leading this crew of thieves and killers and other outcasts who have skills that aren't quite on the up and up as they embark on this impossible heist to break into the most secure kingdom in this world and retrieve a prisoner who's being held captive there. I really enjoyed this book. One of my favorite aspects of the Grisha trilogy was the world, so I was super excited to revisit it. It's really well developed and the magic system is super cool and there's all these different cities and cultures and there's lots of interesting politics and dynamics between these different cultures. It's just a really fantastically built world and it was definitely one of the highlights of this book for me. The other highlight for me was the characters. There's an ensemble cast, so even though Kaz is the main character, we get to spend a lot of time with all of the characters and learn more about them and their backstories. Overall, this book just had like the perfect blend of cool fantasy world and cool cast of characters, and it was just great to spend time in this world with these characters. And I definitely recommend giving it a go. Next up I have here Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer. I'm sure most of you have heard about this book by now. For the 10th anniversary of Twilight, Stephanie Meyer gave us some bonus content and it turns out that bonus content was Twilight retold with all the genders swapped. It's the same storyline, the same character dynamics, but the human is a boy and the vampire is a girl. And I really enjoyed this. Like as soon as I heard about it, I was so excited to get to it and I just had a really fun time reading it. It was funny and weird and just fascinating. You know, it wasn't perfect, but I just had such a good time reading it that it was easy for me to overlook the flaws. It probably helped that I just put together that Twilight Memories video and I was like filled with happy Twilight nostalgia, but yeah, I, I just, I really enjoyed reading this. And finally, if you've been following my Twitter or Snapchat or especially my Tumblr, then you already know about my obsession with Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I don't want to talk about this book too much, and that is a lie because I do really want to talk about this book all the time, like I am considering making a second book talk video for this book, but in the meantime I did make a first one, so I'll link that below if you want to check it out and listen to my non-spoilery breakdown of what this book is all about. This is my favorite book of all time. Yeah, I put it above Daughter of Spoken Bone, I put it above Harry Potter in this moment at least. Like I'm filled with this frantic fangirl energy. So once that fades a little bit, I, I might move those rankings around, but 
Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Harry Potter, Carry On, top three. Definitely top three. You know how when you're really excited and happy about something, that feeling builds in your chest and you just feel like you're about to explode with joy? That's how I feel while reading this book. That's how I feel while just thinking about this book. I have read this book straight through four times now, and I'm going on my fifth. And there's some chapters and scenes that I've read at least 10 times now. It's so good. It's been so good every time. And I'm probably overselling this book and overhyping it, but I just, I, just, I love it so much. Anyways, that is just about it for this video today. I did not complete my TBR jar challenge for the month, at least I haven't yet, and I'm probably not going to because I'm going to be too busy reading Carry On again. And also, I am so far behind in my 100 book challenge, it's funny, funny and sad, and We'll talk more about that in my November TBR. But yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night. And I will have another video up soon. So I will see you then. Goodbye!